Hey YouTube, what's going on? Don't worry about what's on my face, it's literally just face paint. Uh, today was black and white night at my school. It was so much fun. Uh, if you went to it and you watched my channel, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so to the point of the video. Today in track practice, which I started track practice on Tuesday, and I have to say it is so much fun. Like. Track is easily the most fun thing I think that I've done at school in a long time. So, uh, what happened today is I'm trying out for long distance since, you know, if I want to go into the military, I need to be able to run long distance, especially fast long distance as well. So, speed and endurance is what I need to work on. And with speed department, I definitely have that in the bag. So, today... What happened is we were, uh, I went with the long distance group today and <clears throat> man, my throat is sore. I went with the long distance group today and, uh, we were trying out for our track meet on Tuesday of next week, which next week is spring break. I think. I think this is actually coming up on a year that I started that weird fast thing. In any case, <clears throat> uh, first thing that was up was the 800 meters, I believe. And I'm not interested in that because I can run 800 meters, no issue. Uh, sorry, no. The first thing that was up was the one mile. Um, the one mile event. I did that. And so we start off and... I'm probably the most experienced runner there. Possibly. I, I might not be, but from what I'm seeing, for the long distance at least, I'm probably the most experienced, I would say. In any case, uh, we took off, and I took an early lead, and I held that lead for the entire race, honestly. No, actually, literally, I held the I held the lead for the entire one mile. Which, depending on how you want to look at that, it's either like, oh wow, you did a mile and held the lead the entire time, good job, or it's just like, oh well, it's just a mile, who cares? I'm in the department of wow, first off, because it was not easy by any means. It wasn't easy. It was honestly pretty difficult, but it was so awesome. So the guy who was right behind me, um, let's just say his name is Billy because I don't know if he's going to be cool with me using his name on YouTube or not. In any case, Billy is uh, behind me for pretty much the entire race along with uh, <clears throat> an, an M dude. And the thing is, these two guys are wearing black. And as I'm running, I'm looking behind myself to see who's behind me and how far away they are. And I just keep constantly seeing this black blob behind me. And I'm wondering, like, is that Billy? Is that M? Like, who is it? And so as the race is going on, um, first lap down, got it done in, like, less than a minute and a half, I believe. The thing is, like, a minute 27 or something. Uh, second lap was, like, a minute 32, I think. Third lap was about the same. And as we're coming around the bend on the fourth lap, uh, halfway through the lap, um, I'm, I'm hearing like heavy footsteps behind me. I look behind and I see someone hauling cheeks up behind me. And I'm like, oh, heck no, they are not overtaking me. So I sped up as well. And for the last, like, what do I want to say? Like last about... 150 meters I was just I was in a practically dead sprint for it and the guy behind me was not letting up and I crossed the finish line the coach read the time six minutes and four seconds I heard that the guy behind me six minutes and five seconds third guy six minutes and six seconds I go over to the grass which is right next to the track. So I take a left, turn around, and I just collapse on my knees and I'm panting. And I'm like, holy crap, did I actually just run a six minute and four second mile? Because my previous time was six minutes and 36 seconds and my personal best 
is six minutes and twenty seven seconds. But that was not that was not a consistent running. That was stopping about every like quarter mile, I'd say, and then picking it back up, and then stopping, and then picking it back up. It. So in any case. I made a six minute and four second mile today. The guy behind me, Billy, got a six minute and five, and I'm just like, holy crap, dude. And then afterwards, coach was like, all right, next up is the 800 meter. Those guys did that while I was doing my cool down. Uh, and then coach said, all right, who's trying out for the two mile? And me and Billy were the only ones who wanted to do it. We weren't shooting for time, but I was still short of shooting, sort of shooting for time. I was trying to hit a consistent eight minute mile pace and work on my uh, aerobic base or anaerobic base, however you call it. And right there, six minutes and four seconds, that's how long it took me to run a mile. It took me longer to explain it than I actually did to run it, man. And so uh, we start off on the two mile first lap. Two minute, sorry, first lap was like a minute 51. Second lap was like a minute 54. Third lap, minute 57. Fourth lap was uh, about, was just over two minute, I think. Uh, and after the third lap, Billy, who was running with me, he's, he's like, dude, I can't keep going. I need to stop. And I'm like, okay, you want me to stick with you? And he's like, no, you just keep running. I'll catch up with you. And he's like, and I'm like, okay, fine. So I'm running, and I get to about mid-fifth lap, I think. It's either mid-fourth or mid-fifth. Maybe I just got, maybe I just started on my fourth lap. I don't remember. Point is, um, I pass him, or I get close to him. He picks back up and keeps running, and we start running the two miles together. Pretty much keeping in sync with footsteps and pace and all that stuff. And um, I got done with my eight laps. And I'm like, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just stick with you, Billy. And he's like, you sure? And I'm like, yeah, why not? I could, I have, I have the energy. And he's like, all right, well, thank you. I'm like, you sure? And I'm like, yes, I'm going to stick with you, bro. Uh, coach read my time, six minutes, 16 minutes, 10 seconds. I didn't hear it the first time, and I'm like, I'm going to stick with Billy, I'm, I'm just going to keep running, and uh, Coach is like, well, that's very nice of you, and I'm like, yeah, so uh, we keep running, he gets done with his lap, and I had ran nine laps, five plus four, five plus four, uh, nine laps without stopping at a eight minute per mile pace. Uh, so, needless to say, I definitely have a much better anaerobic base than I did uh, even just a few weeks ago. So, I gotta say, track is amazing for your running health, uh, your running form and physique and uh, running fitness and all that stuff. It's awesome for that sort of stuff. Also, running is just so much fun for me. Uh, I'm doing track practice Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and I'm taking Friday and Saturday off to let my body rest and recuperate, and then Sunday is the 4.2 mile Sunday fun run, which that works, we're, for that we're working specifically for the anaerobic base. We try and run the entire thing uh, without stopping and trying to be able to keep a conversation for the entire time. Um, I managed to do that with only stopping once, which was kind of crazy if you think about it. Um, in any case, I love running. I highly recommend that everybody who watches my videos takes up running. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.